Hello everyone, Lady De Winter here, and today we are here to talk about yarn. I have a project of a dish strainer that I love to make out of Lion Brand 24-7 cotton. Now this is two strands held together. This is grass green. This is my summer one. I haven't made my fall ones yet. This is grass green. It's two held together, one white and one green, and then I did green on the edge. So, and this color is grass. I have sage coming. It's a little bit more olive -y gray, uh, olive olive-y green that I think will go with the colors that I have picked out for. We're going to pretend this is sage. We're going to pretend it. I'm going to do sage. I'm going to do goldenrod, which, yeah, with held together with a strand of ecru. So it's two strands, so that'll be held together with that. That'll be held together with that. And then I have, um, let's see, those two. And I'm thinking camel, maybe. Yeah, maybe camel. I can't decide whether I want to do these three together and then these and these and this one and this. I, I can't decide. So I might just do... Those two together, those three together, these two together, and then those three together like that. So I'm just not sure. I'm not sure how I want to do this. But I really think that would look good with that. So we'll see. We'll play with the colors and see. But whatever it is, it's going to be with a color called Ecru, E-C-R-U. And I got three of these. I'm going to get three more. A budget, you know. But I'll order three more of them. And... It will take about that much to make the, uh, the drying mat. <laughs> I'm having terrible brain farts today. Uh, so yeah, I love this yarn for uh, making this kind of stuff. It works really good in dishcloths. It doesn't splinter. Now, I tried the, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby, and it splinters. If you've got like a plastic utensil, and it's got a little bit of a, um, I don't know, what would you call it? Melty spot, uh, scratch spot. That I love this yarn dishcloth will catch on it. I lost a red one to that. So I don't use I love this cotton for this. I use either the home cotton uh, or Lion brand. So when it comes to anything that's going to go into water in my kitchen, it's Lion brand for the win. So... So there we go, guys. That is an upcoming project, one of many for fall. I have a few more that I plan on doing. I want to try to make some kind of a little shawl thing to, because some of my when some of my shirts are cut really low, my winter shirts, and I'm too old for that kind of low cut. But try to find one that's not cut that low anymore because apparently women of all ages are wearing them. I don't. So I was going to make some little scarves and things to go over my shirt so that they don't drop down. I was going to try putting something across there, like a little piece of crochet fabric or something, and using that to kind of block the uh, parts I don't want seen. Uh, so anyway, that is our yarn haul for right now. Now, I did buy some black and white Premier yarn to go with other projects, and I'll talk about that when I do those projects. So... Until next time, this is Lady De Winter reminding you, you're never too old to do anything you set your mind to doing. And, hey, it's almost fall, y'all. Yeah. It's almost fall. We might as well get to working on our fall projects. Bye-bye for now. Yeah.